Senator Thompson, let me ask you about an income tax issue. Uh, it gets batted around a lot in Washington, the alternative minimum tax. And here are the fiscal consequences. There's 20 million people about to be hit by that tax. It was meant to make sure rich people paid taxes, but now it's moving down because of inflation. If this tax isn't changed, 20 million people are hit by it. If we eliminate the alternative minimum tax, it costs the federal government $100 billion. It has to be replaced, assumably, somewhere else. How do you deal with something like that? Well, in the first place, I don't buy the concept that uh, any reduction in taxes uh, is lost revenue to the government. Uh, the taxpayers haven't lost it. It's in their pocket. They know exactly where to find it. We shouldn't confuse the wealth of government with the wealth of nations. Just because the money is sent to Washington doesn't mean that uh, the people are any richer. In fact, uh, just the opposite is the case. Um, as you pointed out, the AMT was designed for the, to target the, the rich guy. And when the Democrats start targeting the rich guy, if you're a middle-class guy, you ought to run to the other side of the House because you're going to get hit. Uh, they're not going to be on target. And this is another one of those cases. You point out we're going from about 4 million people covered now to uh, over, over uh, 20 million people. Uh, what we're going to have to do, though, is look at this uh, as a part of a total picture. Generally speaking, lower taxes and lower tax rates grow the economy. It's been proven in the 20s, it was proven during the Kennedy administration, proven during the Reagan administration, and again during this administration. I would apply that same principle to the, to the AMT. It, it, it ought to be phased out. I think the responsible thing to do, though, until we get a handle on our mandatory spending side of the ledger, is to index it for inflation and fix it for another year while we look at the budget in total. Thank you, Senator.